This is my food culture here in my fish room. In a moment here, I'll disturb all these plants and you're gonna see how much stuff is in here. All right, but uh, what is in there are cherry shrimp, scuds, and Russian red daphnia, snails. There's copepods in there too. Um, all right, so this is my food culture. I used to keep all these separately, but now I just keep them all together. They get along all just fine. They're all super productive. Uh, I never have a problem with this culture and it gives me just uh, tons of uh, food out of here uh, consistently. All right, so let me here disturb this a bit. And you'll see scuds are super productive little creatures. All right. And there was a piece of lettuce here, so that's where, you know, that batch of scuds is coming from. I'm going to add some food in there, so that's a cucumber. Let me stir this mop, too. All right, so like I said, this is my food culture. Um, it's really nothing special to it. Uh, it's just basic sponge filter. Um, I'm just gonna move this just for effect, I guess. So basic sponge filter, it has lava rock and clay-based uh, um, substrate, you know, some live plants planted in it. Uh, the water is just regular unaltered tap water. So really nothing special, uh, you know, beyond what you see. And caring for it, I, uh, Every day or two, I'll add, you know, something like I just did. And I usually like to leave a little bit of prior food in there. These organisms like to consume this food as it, you know, ages and softens. So I try to, you know, add some food in there while there's still a remnant of their prior feeding. And I'll feed this. Actually, you can feed this tank just about anything. It'll, uh, you know, that was a piece of blanched lettuce, cucumber. So any soft or softened fruit or vegetable works. So melon, tomatoes, you know, cooked broccoli, uh, they'll eat it all. Um, dead fish, fish food, bugs. Um, you can put just about anything in there and feed this culture. And it may seem odd that that may feed all these organisms, but it does. You know, for instance, even the Daphnia will benefit from that cucumber because that cucumber is going to leach its nutrients into the water for the Daphnia to consume. And, uh, you know, as the other things eat it, you know, they go to the bathroom, which is, uh, that will be rich in bacteria, which will get ejected into the water column for the Daphnia to consume. So just adding, like I said, a slice of fruit or vegetable every day or two is all I feed this. All right. Let me shake it up one more time. Oh, temperature. It, this tank covers about 70 degrees pretty consistently. It's not heated. It's near my floor here, here, here in my fish room. So it stays pretty consistent or about 70 degrees. All right, so this is my, my uh, aquatic food culture, I guess.